Over the last half a century, most high-income countries have witnessed a spectacular increase in women's labor market participation. The gender gap in earnings has also fallen sharply, at least since the 1980s. Still, even in countries considered the most equal, where women are more educated than men, women are less likely to work, and when they work, they earn less than men. Globally, but also historically, in high-income countries, women are and have been vastly underrepresented in the labor market. This year's laureate has provided the first comprehensive account of women's earnings and labor market outcomes through the centuries. Her research reveals new patterns, identifies causes of change, but also speaks to the main sources of the remaining gender gaps. Understanding women's role in the labor market is important for society, not the least because if women do not have the same opportunity as, as men, or they participate on unequal terms, labor, skills, and talent go wasted. Thanks to Professor Goldin's groundbreaking research, we know much more about the underlying factors driving, driving women's labor market outcomes and which barriers may need to be addressed in the future. Thank you.